But we have so much to get to because we mm -hmm. skipped a week. And you know what? We earned it. High five. Yeah, we deserve it. Um, and <laughs> what did we do? I'll tell you what we did. We got a lot of takeout. Yes. <laughs> oh, so much pizza. And apparently we only wanted to watch movies with one sequel. Yes. Yeah. It started with Disenchanted, uh -huh. the sequel to Enchanted, mm -hmm. which I didn't... Am I... Is this right? There's 15 years before... Between those two movies? Yes, yeah. It's like quite the gap. Wow. And Amy Adams still looks so good. She's just a beautiful person. You picked one of the ones on my list. Oh, because she's gorgeous. <laughs> she's on my list. <laughs> yeah. She's just, ugh. Yeah. The epitome of a Disney she's princess. She's beautiful. But, yeah. But then we did, I wrote them down. Um, but of course, it's not one that's right in front of me. So Enchanted and Disenchanted. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ace Ventura and When yes. Nature Calls. Uh -huh. And there was one more. Oh, Mamma Mia. So and Mamma yes. Mia too. Oh, that was the best day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That was really fun. How that happened? Anyway. I yeah. Don't know. Are we still talking about the Hawk Tua girl? Um, I did just realize that we forgot to mention the third celebrity death. Which was? Um. Old sexy lady. Okay. Oh, Ruth Westheimer, Doctor Ruth. <laughs> yes, Doctor Ruth. She was. <laughs> she was. <laughs> I don't know if I'd say she was an old sexy lady, right? But but she was an old lady who talked about sex, right? Right. And she was like, it was like the first time. Yeah, I remember mm -hmm. watching her. I don't know, is maybe on PBS or something. Oh, I could see that. But I was like. How are we getting away with this? Even as like a... Well, I mean, you know, it's a fact of life. It's a thing that happens. And rest in peace. And thank you for saying the word vibrator in the 80s. Because I think that freed <laughs> up a lot of women to have a better life. It probably did. Yeah. You know, that kind of reminds me. So we've been re-watching <laughs> re Bridgerton uh -huh. lately. Uh, and like the first season, none of the girls know how you conceive a baby. And they're full-grown adult women. Right. And like, you know, we kind of were discussing this as we watched, like, how exactly did they not even have an inkling of how this happened? But that's the thing. Like, it is so easy. Before to, TV. It's so easy to be sheltered. Yeah. And so, you know, can you imagine the chick who heard Vibrator for the first time and was like, what's that? It almost you seems know? like a good time to show. <laughs> oh, our favorite 4th of July. This. Yeah. What was it? Pretty, pretty princess yes, sword or something? Yes, it was a pretty, pretty princess sword. It was our favorite firework and, that we and had. So this is the hilt. Uh huh. And boy, um, if you turn it the wrong way, <laughs> yeah. you might get the wrong idea about what a pretty, pretty princess wants. <laughs> Just saying. Maybe that's intentional. I don't know. Well, to be fair, the boy version of them also had the same hilt. So, uh, but I want to say two <laughs> things about the hawk. Oh, that's true. Yeah. They did. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was the Princess Power Sword. Yeah. That's what it was called. And it was very fun. The mighty, I had a really good time waving that thing around. <laughs> <laughs> mighty Mormon Princess Ranger. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> Where were we? Dr. Ruth Westheimer. <laughs> Weird fireworks handle. Hopping down the bunny oh, trail. <laughs> Hawk Tua. <laughs> Sorry. I just want to mention the two things I saw that I thought were Hawk Tua related and hilarious. Okay. Some guy just posted it because he's either posting completely inappropriate <laughs> or he's saying, hey, guys, just got out of Facebook jail again. <laughs> but anyway, he just posted, if she don't hawk to a, I don't talk to a. Huh. That's funny. And then a friend of mine made the observation. He was like, so I don't know, hawk to a, whatever. He's like, he's not really a meme follower mm -hmm. or a current events follower even. Right. But he had heard that and he's like, so this is gross. I had to spit up the other day uh -huh. in, in front of the sink. I think he got a bad jar of pickles or something, uh -huh. but he's like, that's exactly the sound you make when you have to spit. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, a, like a really a, gross, like, a, well, and that's the thing. It's not cause you can get a good, like, like just saliva spit with just the, you know? Uh-huh. I saw one other thing that's a little randy this week. Just like that, the expression, hear me out, has completely changed. Right. It kind of has. Have you noticed this? It's no longer, hear me out, McDonald's actually makes a high-quality burger. Right. It means, hear me out, I'm going to have sex with a McDonald's burger. <laughs> right. Like it, yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. Yeah. Basically, it's... 
so I guess it's sort of a game uh-huh. where you and my my uh, buddy and I actually pl- uh, played this together, oh, and it was really good, as a matter of fact, because it got weirder and weirder, dude. <laughs> um, but like, it started at like, um, hear me out, Guillermo from What We Do in the Shadows. He's kind of cute. Absolutely he seems like he'd be agree. a good boyfriend. Yeah. And you you basically get to list all of the nice things about him. Hear you know? me out. <laughs> Rick Moranis in Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> right. Yeah. And then I think the it, nerdy boy. <laughs> oh, I loved him in that. Yeah. Suddenly Seymour. Oh. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it was so good. Um and then I think it ended somewhere along the Hear lines. Hear me out. Steve Martin in Little Shop of Horrors. <laughs> uh but I think our game ended somewhere along the lines of uh Quasimodo. <laughs> I'm not going to tell you who did, came up with that one either. Okay, but you are you're saying you're making an argument. There are arguments exist mm-hmm. for Quasimodo. Yeah. yeah, you know what? He'd sure be grateful. <laughs> you know, he'd <laughs> sure be really into it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Just saying. And you know, I think another nice thing about this new "Hear Me Out" game. Is that anytime you are feeling just crappy about yourself, like you are in the pits, you all post, right? Post a selfie of you in your sweats going, hear me out. <laughs> well, no, I'm like just the saying. the worst photo of yourself well, you could no, possibly take. If, you're pl- if you've ever played the game, though, you can be like, okay, I am just a piece of garbage person and I look bad, but so-and-so said that they would do so-and-so and I'm better than that person, so yeah. 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 Hey, even without no makeup, I'm mm-hmm. still a seven. Yeah. And, yeah. you know. If someone would make the argument for Quasimodo, I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs>